Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another Crypto Gorilla video. Today, I wanted to take a look at what's been going on in the market, as well as some upcoming events. And I wanted to take a look at some recent trades that I've made. I wanna start being a lot more open about my trading in my videos. As usual, nothing in this video is financial advice and if you haven't already done so would you kindly hit that subscribe button also i know my frame rate for my camera has gone down i just got a new pc and for some reason it's just not working together i'll get it fixed but we're in the bull we don't have time to fix cameras we are focused on trading so jumping straight into the nft market or even crypto crypto has been performing exceptionally well bitcoin is at forty-two thousand. eth is at 2200 you would expect nfts to be taking a dip they're going to retain their price in terms of usd but their price in terms of eth would normally go down but that is not what has been happening we have collections on some amazing pumps over the seven days you have miladies up 60 percent we have pixelmon up 50 percent i'm seeing a lot of support on the timeline for them but the collection that has been crushing it is of course pudgy penguins which if we take a look at their chart here they've recently pumped from six ethereum all the way to 11. i know a bunch of people were sharing pictures from OpenSea because OpenSea looks prettier than blur when you screenshot it saying it's at 12 but the real floor was 11. but it's amazing to see pudgies at these levels especially after the recent fud that they have if your project can survive fud that is a bullish flag for me we saw it with azuki and now we're seeing it with pudgies it just goes to show you that the web3 community not even the holders just the community in general doesn't care and they will support you no matter what now i know there's also rumors of a token drop for pudgies people are leaking some screenshots of a pitch deck i don't think those are real or i think it's from a very old pitch deck but whatever narrative gets the price up i'm down for now, there's a few collections that i've been talking about for the past few weeks three in particular have been shrapnel my pet hooligan and cart party and all three of those have seen really good price action if we take a look at these shrapnel operators they're currently at 0.25 trying to break out they've been trading kind of i say sideways it's been a little bit of a roller coaster especially with this dip that you see right here this was that fake fud from the lawsuit it was an amazing buying opportunity however they're finally breaking out so hopefully they can keep up that upwards momentum and although i do own multiple operators my bigger bags are in the shrap token i started talking about this one back at around 14 cents and then i spoke about it again last week at 20 cents my whole plan was to front run the alex becker video where he was going to talk about avax projects but i just held because they have their game dropping ideally at the end of this month it might be early January but hopefully at the end of this month it's going to be limited access but it is going to go live on the epic game store the price currently sits at 33 cents so I'm up more than 2x on my original purchase however I have not taken any profits I am hoping that it pulls a echelon prime which is the token for parallel after they hit the epic game store and this is an amazing game a lot of people are playing it their token pulled a 3x so I'm really hopeful that my strap bag and my operators can do the same thing that prime did and the parallel avatars the next project that I've been talking Talking about for the last two or three weeks has been my pet hooligan i managed to pick up three at an average price of around 0.73 these were not floors these already have tokens attached to them and if we filter on OpenSea by 3500 tokens which is what my shopping metrics were we could see the current floor price is 1.25 ethereum so on all three of those combined i am up well over one eth on this trade i know they have a tournament for their game coming up in the near future so i'm really excited for that however the other play that i've been preaching about has been the zuck bots because i i don't know if it's the branding like people don't associate them with my pet hooligan and they kind of just forgot about them i don't like that it is a 12k supply that is a bit high but these were sitting under 0.02 for the longest time so i just started accumulating i think across a few wallets i must have over 30 by now and we finally managed to break out a bit i'm up i don't know what my average is but i'm up almost 2x on most of my buys we're just under 0.04 and i think these still have room to grow as i've been mentioning it is a play for 
early Q1 next year. I don't know when the TGE is going to be. It could be in March. It can maybe even be pushed to Q2. However, I do plan to hold these into next year. So if the market cools down, I expect these to see a cool down as well. And some of the things people are saying to me are they don't have staking. There's no confirmation that they're going to have a token. I do believe they're going to have staking and a token. However, it doesn't matter if they do. What matters is the narrative. So as we get closer to TGE, people are just going to start to speculate. And depending on that speculation, I believe the price is going to go up depending on the sell pressure. It's always supply and demand. However, I can see these still pulling a 2x and even breaking through 0.1 depending how high the My Pet Hooligans go and if that becomes really outpriced for a lot of people. Now, the third and final collection I wanted to take a look at before we move on to other topics that I've been talking about for the past few weeks is Cart Party. I did call this one in my server at 0.7 because their Gen 2 is going to start its marketing any day now. However, obviously I did not follow my own alpha. I did end up buying in at 1.2 ETH. I got a couple of these and they have been nicely moving up. I think we hit 1.8 before correcting back down to 1.55. But like I said in my last video, the downside is we go back to 0.7. Now I don't think 0.7 is going to happen, but the downside then was 0.7. And the upside for me on these was 2 ETH and above. So the upside was really good for me to take this risk. Now, before we continue with more Web3 chat, I did want to talk about the trailer that was leaked for GTA 6. It was posted on Twitter with the watermark by Bitcoin, which I did find pretty funny. However, Rockstar managed to get this pulled and then they just went ahead and released the trailer since some people had seen it. I assume they thought somebody, you know, recorded it or downloaded it or the person was just going to keep re-uploading it. So I think it was a good move on their behalf to release the trailer early from their official page and they can rack up all those views and all that attention. Now, we don't have any gameplay footage from this trailer. In my opinion, the trailer is pretty mid. It does seem like they're trying to capture the culture of our times where you have people live streaming and you could see the chat up on the screen of the audience who are watching the live stream. However, there is no mention of Web3 or NFTs or crypto, blockchain, none of that. So we have no confirmation on any of the speculation. However, even though there's rumors saying that GTA 6 is gonna have crypto and blockchain, those rumors were twisted words because what they said was they're gonna have a crypto market in the game. Similar to how in GTA 5, there's a stock market and you can make different decisions and affect the outcome of the performance of certain stocks. So you can manipulate the stock market. I feel it's gonna be the exact same thing in GTA 6 where you can manipulate certain cryptocurrencies. Now it doesn't mean the game won't have any NFTs or a token for their economy or blockchain or whatever, but regardless of whether they do or don't, I do think this trailer coming out is very bullish for Web3 gaming because a lot of people are gonna be talking about games. They're gonna be looking for something to play since they can't play this game for the next two years. And overall, it's just really good for the whole gaming narrative. Now, I also saw people saying, oh, I wish I could play this now. I can't play it until 2025. That's a good thing because we need to be focused on the market and on our trades. We have two years before this game comes out and that's two years of a beautiful, glorious bull run. So put all your focus into your craft, into your trades, into Web3, and don't worry about a video game. It's gonna be there, just like a movie. The movie's always gonna be there for you to watch, but this bull run is a once in a lifetime opportunity, in my opinion. Jumping back into NFTs, there's no denying that Overworld is one of the most, if not the most hype mint happening in the month of December. I had 25 spots to raffle in my private community, Gorilla Labs, and the demand to get in, the offers people were making me just to join for one month was pretty crazy. Now we did finally get the reveal for what their PFPs are gonna look like. I think they look really good. They kind of remind me of Valhalla, I guess because they're facing left, but also especially this fire one here. This one reminds me of like an Azuki mixed with a Valhalla, but overall, I really like them. I think they did a great job with this character. They look good. We only have the males here. We don't know what the female PFP is gonna look like. And while I would love to say there's a ton of positive feedback, you can't trust what people are saying in the comments because everybody is gonna say the most positive things about this collection in order to try to get whitelist for themselves. But in my opinion, I find these PFPs look good and I look forward to seeing the entire collection. Jumping into some token news, we have a few that are going to be airdropped ideally this month, the first of which is going to be Inspect, which it is confirmed as you just saw on screen there that it 
is happening on December 6th. And I don't know if there's any truth to this or if Whale is just trolling with us here with this image, but here he says that your airdrop is gonna be based on your ranking in Inspect, which used to be NFT Inspect. So again, I have no idea if there's any truth to this, but it would be pretty cool if we all got a nice airdrop. Now, something else that I found was this Ape Terminal Launchpad where they did have a raffle. By the time you watch this video, the raffle is gonna be over, but they did have a raffle for you to be able to invest in the INSP token, which is the token for inspect. And as you can see here, they have almost 450 assets connected. I guess that just means the amount of money in people's wallets that connected and not necessarily how much people actually committed to invest but I'm definitely gonna keep a close eye on this launch pad because here they do mention that you're able to earn points. You can earn fees based on your referrals, my referral link in the description down below, but they also mention that they're gonna have their very own token and that there is a claim coming soon. Now, two other tokens that people are anticipating to happen very soon, the first one being grapes for which the results and the refunds are happening today. However, we still do not know when the token generation event is actually going to be happening. And the next one being AOF first with their AFG token for which the rumors say it is happening as early as December 6th. We still have no confirmation that that is what is going to be happening, but these four airdrops for NFTers and crypto people would be in incredibly bullish. Now, a couple more things I wanted to talk about before ending today's video. The first one is the return of Operation Sin. Now, a few people, myself included, took some shots, especially when I noticed that their new tweet was right above this old tweet where they were basically giving up on the project publicly. And to their credit, it does seem like a new team has taken over the project. I did reach out to speak with them. However, they are not ready to answer questions. If they even answer questions, I don't know why we just decide which projects get a pass and which projects need to like have a fully docs team and show us their utility and a bunch we have this huge list of demands and then other projects somebody could be a murderer and as long as they make us money we're gonna mint their stuff so they definitely have an uphill battle with their brand especially that it was attached to nft llama who ended up selling llamaverse for allegedly six ethereum which is less than the all-time high floor of the Llamaverse project. However, if there's actually a brand new team behind this, I'm willing to definitely give them a chance and see what they bring to the table. Now, last but not least, I'm gonna be looking out for Becker's next video. As I mentioned last week, his next video is gonna be about Gamblefy. And in his latest tweet, that's exactly what he says. So I had looked at five different tokens that I thought he was gonna talk about to try to front run him because people just YOLO their money into whatever he talks about, especially when it has a small market cap. Now, the five tokens I mentioned were Rollbit, which is a very large market cap, Dubs, Blockchain Bets, which I had never heard about before Becker ever allegedly bought it. I didn't go check his wallet to see if he actually bought it. I just saw people say he bought it and I was like, good enough for me. <laughs> and then there's also Decentral Games that I bought. And the final one was D-Race. I didn't buy that one. I'm not really into it, but I just assume he's going to talk about it. And I'm actually already up 80% on my blockchain bets bet. I'm up over 10% on dubs, which to me dubs is a really good token and one I have been accumulating anyways and will hold into the bull run. I'm up 10% on Decentral Games and I'm actually down on my Rollbit purchase. However, I don't mind because that one is also a really good token and I think it can perform well in the bull market. I just don't think I'm gonna get like 100X out of that token or anything like that. So like I mentioned at the beginning of this video, I wanna start talking about my token purchases a lot more, what I'm looking at, what I made profits on, what I took losses on because I've been doing some really good trades and altcoins are way more liquid than NFTs. I've been considering buying an ape, but I tell myself I'm probably going to get a 2x on my ape. That is like the minimum scenario of what I expect. I don't know if it's going to happen. That's just what I expect, but I can easily get a four, five, even 10x on some of these altcoins. So I'd rather just put my money into altcoins, which are way more liquid. There's a ton more people who purchase them. And in my opinion, it's a much better bet than parking 30 ETH into an NFT, even though I really want it. And just looking at some of my purchases from just a couple of days ago, I'm up over 50% on my super purchase. I'm up 85% on MBX and up 151% on this dog token. So I definitely want to start bringing you some of my plays and the logic I have behind purchasing all this stuff. So that's something you can look forward to in the future. And like I said, fully transparent, I'm gonna show you both the profits, but also my losses, because I'm definitely gonna take 
some losses in the next bull run. That's it for today's video. If you enjoyed it, let me know in the comments down below. Hit that like button. If you haven't already done so, would you kindly hit that subscribe button? Smash that bell notification. Thank you for watching the Crypto Gorilla.